right, welcome back to another episode of Guy Party. This is a big Guy Party tonight. I'm Brad Keller. I'm James. Michael Benjamin. Chester. Nick. Cody Cuteness. Er. All right, so um, thanks for listening again. Uh, Chester, what do you got for us? All right, so I don't want to hammer on this too much, but you know the t- whole Tide Pod Challenge thing is going around, and it just made me think that Jesus Christ is this new generation of children just absolutely that retarded? <laughs> and it, what what do we what can we expect from this generation? So this is a generation, and when I say uh, I'm thinking like maybe like post 9/11 babies. Uh, so this is a generation that has grown up in a completely digital world, cell phones in hand from a very young age, tablets, not really playing outside like we used to. What what can we expect from these guys when they grow up if they're fucking putting laundry detergent in their mouth? Well, hopefully Darwinism is already kicking in and we're going to make these motherfuckers. What, yeah, the ones that are a problem been, aren't going to make it. <laughs> has there been two deaths? I'm pretty sure I've seen somewhere I, there was two deaths of, that occurred of people doing it. And getting poisoned. I think what we have to question, though, and like the craziest part of it is, okay, so why are they doing this? Like, is it really the Tide Pods, or is it just like this generation? Like, since they have had cell phones and tablets since a young age, and like everything's digital, and it's like you can gain fame like that, like instantly. I fucking look like all asshole. So people upload, you know, ice challenge videos, and then you know cinnamon like challenge or tide pod challenge like <laughs> tide pod challenge it just keeps getting increasingly like crazier and it's like but why do they do it because it's like a new form of peer pressure <laughs> with tide pods <laughs> well just this past <laughs> halloween i dressed as a tide pod to get my ass ate did you there you go <laughs> cody cuteness with the kid oh, 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 the oh. cody cuteness <laughs> ass eating challenge <laughs> he, he started the whole thing yeah listen up boys uh, we're gonna have a tide pod cody cuteness butthole eating challenge coming up soon <laughs> so should... a mall of america near you <laughs> so here's here's a horrible question i, I want to ask the group should we make an effort to stop kids from doing this or should we just let the really stupid ones kill themselves, and then we get just better adults? You want the non-PC answer from me? Yes. Let them kill themselves. <laughs> What'd you got? Is it your kid? <clears throat> I don't have any my, kids. My responsibility ends at my kid. I, like, I watch the neighbor's kid sometimes, but beyond that... So if it's not your kid, you're like, fuck him, let him kill well, himself. Well, what if the neighbor <laughs> kid ate a fucking Tide Pod? Just, it, is it my turn to watch him? But what if it is your turn to watch them? Then then no, I would would absolutely stop them. But, you know, I'm not going to make some kind of big effort to try and stop all the kids. No, that's their parents' responsibility. And if their parents are stupid... Okay, yeah, I agree to you to that extent. That yes, I mean, yeah, they should be taking the responsibility of their own children. But, you know, let's not lose our human compassion here, fellas, about, like, you know, the fact that, like, you know... let people just die? I mean, if we can, like, you know... Darwinism I know, I know in the digital are, age, baby. See, I, I, I want to take it a step further. I know they are maybe, you know, maybe they're just trying to get it taken really off the shelf. stupid for doing that shit, which I agree I, I want to take it a step further and say, not only do I want to not stop these kids from doing it, I want to challenge them to do even stupider shit so that we can really find the dumb ones and get a weed them out. Oh, well, come I, on. I, I want to bounce on something James just slow. said. No, no. You said maybe it's to get them taken off the shelf. I know yeah. you're a bit conspiracist. Do you think, like, Tide went against Trump or something and there's no. some sort of no, thing No, I just think play? that maybe they're doing that so that they get them taken off the shelf so that no one can put them in their mouth. Because <laughs> if they're not there, you can't do it. But then, I mean... No matter what it's, it's sales, laundry detergent. It's it's sales either yeah. way. Which it was either way it's I detergent. agree it's fucking retarded, but you, could you know just what's pour crazy is like we used to get our mouths washed out with soap. Anybody ever? Yeah, had that no, happen? absolutely. Like, yeah. Dish soap in the mouth. <laughs> yeah. But well, now the, kids the are washing their own they mouths just, out with they soap. Want that. Maybe, <laughs> they want it. Maybe they want all it. need this to happen. <laughs> they want to be yes. punished. That's all they want. Like the rest of us is to be human and be punished, right? That's what life is about, being punished and gradually God, everyone's punished more and more. You. You're a dismal yeah. motherfucker, my <laughs> friend. No, it's not about being dismal. It's about the reality and like, truth of the like hilarity. I don't want to be punished. That's the hilarity. That's the hilarity of life. Those you are alternative facts. 
So what if, if kids are willing to eat Tide Pods for a challenge, what else do you think that they would be willing to do? Like if you could if you had to come up with the next fucking challenge. The next challenge. That's a good question. What's the next challenge? Like are they sh- are they giving themselves like dish detergent enemas? Like is that the fucking next challenge? <laughs> like, like what's can let's can anybody come up with a good one for the kids to do so we can has, uh, has anybody smoked plastic straws? Well, not since I was fifteen. <laughs> um, that, what about that is what a good would question. you do sexually for a Klondike bar? Hmm. Not with kids. Yeah. 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 We're, we're, we're talking about kids That's here. true. Like God, God damn it, Cody. Dude. That's true. We are talking about fifteen-year-olds. <laughs> um. I don't know. What do you guys got? Anything? What the next? <laughs> Would you singe off your balls, ha- ball hairs? Do you think you can make them do something like that? I've already done that. Well, yeah, they already did that. Oh, oh, like I a challenge. challenge. Yeah. I think I've seen that's nothing because I'd seen the one thing. I don't know if I had uh, talked about this before or not. I guess I about them doing where they're partying, where they do butt chugging or something like that. Butt chug. That's the thing. I don't <laughs> but know. Like, isn't that real. just something that they reported on? Like maybe one person did it. Yeah. And, like, yeah, and exactly. weren't they fifteen? And weren't those Klondike bars? <laughs> the alcohol is supposed to uh, absorb faster. Have you ever done a butt chug? Hell no. No. <laughs> Anybody here done a butt chug? No. I know somebody who might have. Uh, but anyway, yeah. I know we're getting into name drops now, talking about our friends. So <laughs> shots, shots. <laughs> That's gonna make it better. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so yeah, I don't know. I just I. <clears throat> what are these kids gonna be like when they grow up? What do you What do you see like a kid right now that's that's having all this peer pressure, like this online peer pressure, like cyberbullying, safe space kid going to be like when he's our age. Well, he or she is our age. It, I mean, if the world goes to shit, they're all fucked, pretty much. It's do, like do you it, think they're too sensitive? Do you hey, think we... Oh, yeah. hey, hey, I think it's so. going to be he or she or not he or she. That's true. <laughs> they, that's, <laughs> that's true. I don't want to assume they're Oh, yeah. yeah. Not yeah. Sorry, everyone. We don't know if it's a he or she yet. No, so, yeah, we, we have... Uh, I, I mean, is our gender hey, reveal man. parties going to be obsolete? Non-binary is a real thing. <clears throat> well, I don't know. It kind of brings up two different, like, ends of the same coin. Like, the people that are all about political correctness and, like, this thing should be wrong, this should be right, this is the way that things should be, that's all kind of in opposition to, like, how crazy the fucking world is getting behind the scenes, like, that nobody, like, wants to look at. So they're like, well, we're going to talk about, like, what my gender is like so I can define this and it's like it's going so slow and it's like in the background it's just hate it's fucking blankets of hate (coughs) and it's like that's our connecting to people and it's like back when we were kids we didn't fucking have internet like we started getting like what AOL and fucking MSN chat and shit and then people just just type shitty things to each other but now that's like all people ever see it's like you post something and it's like Fuck you, fag. Like, <laughs> and, I mean, that's kind of like Kill killing yourself. the younger generation's imagination as well. Like, they don't go outside and play with some toys and create, like, worlds and shit. Like, but it's like, if you get exposed to that from such an early age, like, constantly, isn't that going to actually toughen you up and, like, make you more callous on, like, not even a healthy oh. scale, but, like... A crazy fucking like. But what oh, happened when you're? I will say that younger is, you'd go outside like, and play. Like suddenly I'm Michael Benjamin, and I'm like, <laughs> uh, everything just sucks in the world, and everyone's mean to each other. So do you think that like cynicism is, is on the rise then? I think that there's a massive cynicism. That's why you know dark things and entertainment are so popular. Well, well, that's so not trend. good for the world. Like having a bunch of fucking cynical motherfuckers because they were sitting on. Uh, Facebook it and made fun of their whole upbringings. And, and that's know, all that they know. It's like, no, no, at no, least we get... had like, hitting each other with sticks and stabbing each other in the ribs. Yeah, you go like, out and face each other it. like fucking warriors. And it's like, oh fuck, I didn't mean to stab that into your gut. Like, <laughs> let's hide this from our parents. So, I don't know. Like, well, they, oh, go they, can get, they can get suspended from school for Facebook bullying now. That's, That's a thing. Fucked up. Uh, I mean, I guess I agree. I agree with that. Yeah. Uh, maybe. Oh, I'm sorry. They're not on Facebook. They're on Instagram or whatever the new platform is. Where the old people were on Facebook. But but should they be able to <laughs> be suspended from school for something that probably happened after hours? I mean, I, dis- I don't think so at all. Yeah. But, that's. 
I mean, the, the the whole playground playing is is an important part of growing up. It is. And they like, need to be experienced. So that. Yeah, totally. And but it's extended online now, yeah. and so you know. Well, you don't even need like face to face contact like what we're doing, sitting around in a circle. These kids, they'll probably just remote in and fucking podcast instead of getting together and drinking beers. I didn't know they were allowed to have their phones with them like like you know everywhere they went at school. I think it depends on the teacher because I I mean even. Back when I was uh, in school, I had teachers that, you know, had a pretty strict phone policy. Like, I, I know I had a professor who, like, had a fishbowl, and if he saw you with your phone out, he'd, like, take it and just drop it in the fishbowl. I mean, yeah, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> Did he but also? now you would, like, sue for that. Oh, yeah. I don't think that would fly today, but I don't know. In, in one regard, I think that, you know, the, the current generation is you know, maybe too sensitive, but Eric, I think you're kind of touching on this with all the crazy shit that's going on in the world. I think they're such, they're, they're subject uh, to all this shit that actually may toughen them up a little bit. Like when we went to school, I don't think we really had to worry about getting shot. Well, and, and I mean, they're, they're facing different fears like that every day, not to be all doom and gloom or anything like that. But uh, I mean, all, all like all that crazy shit that's going on in the world right now, it, but not. Oh, I don't mean to cut you off. But back to like toughen them up. But like he made a great point. Like, all right, so now if you fucking call somebody a name on Facebook, they're getting suspended from school. That's PC as fuck. Like, how is that toughening anyone up? Like, all right, you called him a name, so he's gonna get suspended. Sorry about you know this dude calling you a name. I guess what I'm, I'm, I guess the point I'm making is that when we were younger, I think the world was smaller. The world it felt was, smaller. and you got to know people better and 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 i think that that has a few different effects here i think you're right that kids are like uh, their social skills are going to be a lot weaker than ours but hey cuteness grab me one all right i don't i don't know i i I don't necessarily think they're not going to be that tough but i don't know what do you think well what i'm thinking is this whole like facebook like suspension thing was it something as simple as calling someone like a big stinky head or was it like something as serious as like a group of students honing in on one like trying to make him kill himself. I think themselves. Big Stinky Dude, Head I've is seen, uh, subjective because I've seen some, if it's a five-year-old, that's a big insult. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's <laughs> breath. <laughs> yeah. It's like that kid's life's over. They're going to think he's Big Stinky Head up until graduation. I've they seen some... Big Stinky now. Head is like the N-word for a five-year-old. <laughs> what, do you, what do you think? <laughs> oh, James. You, you said my last Fuck. thing. I'll, I'll take it out. <laughs> he called you sweetie. It's going to be a lot of bleeps in this. Yeah. Yeah. Well, what do you think? Do you have anything, like, thoughts on this? Or, like, you probably got picked on a little bit in high school, didn't you? Yeah, I got picked on a lot in high school. Uh, do you think what these kids are experiencing nowadays is worse, the same? Uh, these it's motherfuckers the are same, pussy? Because, you know, I, you can actually make someone kill themselves. It's happened a few times. Yeah. From side sure. So, do you think that there's more of that happening now, or it's just getting reported more now? I have no clue because because I think it, it's happening more. It, more. it feels like it feels like it's happening more now, but maybe it was happening when we were younger. They just yeah. I mean the news the news is different. No, yeah. because listen, no, I, I've seen where it was like videos of like like uh, chicks that like you know stuff that led to them you know doing things with you know a, a friend or a dude or whatever, and like th- them exploiting them and you know whatever, and then them killing themselves because of it and. Like, yeah, and then like everybody's seeing it. Yeah, I, I don't know. Like I said, there's a lot of pressure on kids these days with, and and I know we're we're talking about them being too sensitive because of Facebook bullying or whatnot, but it puts a lot of pressure on a kid. Well, I want to know like, I love origin stories for things like you know, Batman. He had like an origin of his parents were shot or whatever, so he becomes, you know, the Dark Knight. But I wonder about origins. Also, like, who was the first person to make, like, killing yourself as a teenager popular? <laughs> because really, there was, like, a the Elvis. Kirk, a trendsetter. Like, a Kurt Kurt Cobain. Cobain. Yeah, yeah, I mean, Kurt actually, Cobain. I'm Kurt Cobain. Cobain. Yeah, that's perfect. Yeah, maybe. No, yeah. then you go back to Shakespeare, Romeo and Juliet. I mean, really. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's not through, anything new. When was that's... killing yourself sexy? Since the dawn of yeah. like yeah. isn't that kind of on the back of everyone's minds? Like, well, if I kill myself, then like people will miss me. And How about going like, even farther? It's like, so the origin of the like, thought of like, killing yourself, huh? So that would probably make it worse in a day and age of technology where you don't actually have like 
physical interactions with people. I think I think there's how probably been like one person to like live broadcast. How long does it take to start to want to kill yourself? I think that's when you're away, that's completely solitude, happened. away from everybody and everything. Living in a dumpster in fucking Alaska. Who knows? Anywhere like it's, it can be paradise, but then it's paradise for like you know how long before you don't have any interaction with anybody whatsoever. Maybe social media has fed these uh, this desire for attention, oh, and and, yeah. and part of that is maybe that's what you know the, the, these suicides are is that people are just looking for attention. Same thing with like uh, mass murderers and shootings and shit. A lot of them are just people try, like they want. To it's like their way. You yeah. think a mass murderer is an attention seeker? Oh, I think oh, yeah, a lot dude. of times, That's yeah. I think it's kind of like suicide dude. with extra steps. Yeah. <laughs> well, the suicide, I don't know. They, they have all kinds of different theories on that. But Oh, I think who, they love seeing themselves all blasted all over the news and shit. And, yeah. Well, yeah, while they're killing people, but... Oh, okay, right on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, all right. I think it's the whole... Yeah, okay. the whole yeah totally, to totally. It. Didn't even think of that fucking aspect, but yeah, right on. All right, so and I think I think social media is just feeding that that because yeah. everybody, I, I mean, when you like, I know I'm guilty of this, like, you know, like when you post something, like, do you check for likes? Oh yeah, who doesn't? It, right. And I mean, let's all be honest. And it's in a fucking, it's, it's absolutely an attention thing. Okay, and, you don't just check for likes. You check to see who liked it. We all know that's what and, it is. And we want to see if it's the little, like, fucking laughy face emoji. And or, like, the what? fucking, like, lo- like heart shaped emoji. Like, <laughs> why did they have like to this? worry about that back in the day? Why is it so special? Right. Yeah. Like, it's, I think I just it's honestly kind of pathetic when you fucking think <laughs> about it. Jesus Christ, we're all attention whores. And Facebook is just amplifying the fucking problem. And that's exactly what it's doing. Can you imagine the people that are interjecting Facebook with, like, Instagram? Oh, like, Jesus. And, and Twitter. Like, it. it well, I mean, they're all intertwined, so they can connect, you know. So, but. so is, that, is there hope for this generation coming up? I mean, will they be having guy parties, or will they just be uh, chatterbaiting? Chatterbaiting. They, 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 they need to disconnect so they can reconnect. Yeah, for they can have guy parties. So I well, think I think the perfect representation of our future of the future of humanity was the movie Wall-E. Mm. With, uh, so, like, the people, like, in, like, the fucking floating chairs with just screens in their face, and they're fat as fuck, and they're not, and, like, robots are doing fucking everything for them. I think that is absolutely the future of humanity. I can see that. But honestly, if we're talking about Wally here, how long did those fat blobs last on Earth before they just died? Like... Did well, they, they did really... last on Earth, right? They, they were floating well, like, through the stairs. credits, it's like, oh, yeah, they're getting thinner and, like, working. And it's like, are you kidding me? They were bred into this sort of... That's like saying a chicken that was bred for McDonald's will, like, go out there in the world and, like, you know, run the best bank or something. <laughs> have a chance of making it at yeah. all. <laughs> it's like, you're just going to, like, roll around on your, like brittle bones that are gelatinously in your form <laughs> until like we just starved to death or well, get eaten I, by well oh, i think it's like the whole parasites. Um, uh idiocracy the tremors on the ground. I, I hate to keep going back to movies but the whole idiocracy <laughs> thing oh, dude. where the smart people are going to keep building the technology to make the stupid people like more and more and more fucking lazy and the stupid people are breeders and, 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 and yeah. yeah. dependent on the technology to the point where the technology like there's not going to be enough smart people to fix that technology when it starts to break down and Idiocracy is a great fucking movie of what is. I think the world will become. I, I could see it being kind of a combination of Wally and, yeah. and Idiocracy. Oh, totally. And it's all for the economy. <laughs> consume, baby, consume. Yep. <clears throat> that one percent just keeps getting fucking richer and richer and richer, and the the gap, the the uh, economic gap divide, you know, that that <clears throat> just it just keeps expanding. Yeah. Right. I don't know. We're getting too serious. Yeah. Fuck, uh, oh, yeah. Let's fuck, talk about trannies. <laughs> fuck this tra- yeah, trannies. Fuck this uh, year generation. They're on their own. God party will be well done and gone by the time. Fuck them all. Anyway. Well, what's... They're probably our listeners, too. Yeah. We're just telling them to fuck off. <laughs> no way. We love you. We love you guys. Life finds a way. Life finds a way. Stop <laughs> killing yourself. Keep Disconnect. listening to guy party. Quit eating uh, Tide Pods. Reconnect. Or keep eating Tide Pods. If, if it's good for your social media account... If you're thinking about killing yourself, no. just listen to Guy Party. Don't eat <laughs> Yeah. Don't eat them. Don't turn out like that. And then, us. um, 
Yeah. Just tune out when MB talks. Because <laughs> you might want to just keep killing yourself. Guys, the only person that's even kind of even known that follows us is Caitlyn Jenner. Caitlyn Jenner follows us? Fucking A right. Celebrity endorsement. Dude, you know how many times we drop tranny throughout our pods? <laughs> it's trending. Hell yeah. <clears throat> so speaking of that. So wait, is that the new Tide Pod challenge? Tranny pods? It could be. That might be it. <laughs> <laughs> tranny is becoming popular. Being the a fuck tranny. a tranny challenge? My clothes always smell tranny fresh. Tranny fresh. Nice. <laughs> All right, so um, good luck to you. Uh, well, do they have a name for this generation yet? Um, that's out now. This, I like post 9 11 babies. Post 9 11 babies. They don't like to be labeled. I think they just call them millennials. Generation Are they the millennials? Trends. or well, we're millennials, millennials technically start yeah. 1981, 1982. They've, right. they've, they've, they've actually recently to. relabeled our generation. We're like a micro generation, and I forget what they call us. What, what is yeah. it? Because we, we still remember the time before <laughs> everything. there was a computer and everything. Right. What we cannot we possibly be like leaped in with these this fucking generation. I, yeah. was, uh, I think it was the lost generation. Yeah. I mean, yeah. <laughs> that seems about right. <laughs> yeah. All right. So. I wouldn't mind if it was the, you know, X generation. Uh, you, you know, um, generation Dave Chappelle X named it one time, and I thought it was appropriate. Reagan babies. Reagan babies. Yeah. I thought that was appropriate. Reagan babies. <laughs> That would be a great show. All like Muppet presidents. Babies? But All the presidents is like little babies, and they're like doing... Who's the baby shit? Who's going to be the, the nanny or whatever? See, I would think that would be more Man appropriate with Trump because I Laura feel like Bush. he's got to have like 30 or 40 illegitimate children. <laughs> <laughs> like, like that could totally be a show. Be the U.S. Treasury. Who owns the Treasury? What's that family? Rothschilds? Rothschilds. Uh, the Rothschilds would be the, 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 the nanny. <laughs> With like the fucking socks and good. shit. Yeah. <laughs> oh god, skit time. Skit time. <laughs> nice. Oh, like skit room. That is good. Well, I remember that. Well, wow. good thing we're recording it. I know. <laughs> oh, are we? We're, oh. We're, we are recording right now. All right. So, so uh, we talked a, a lot about these idiots of the lost generation. Let's let's talk about what us millennials used to do while we were kids. Oh, we were the lost generation, and they're the oh. millennials. We are yeah. the lost generation. All right. the millennials. <laughs> Sorry. All right. Let's pay attention. Look. What I wanted to say was about okay, what you're bringing up is okay. Remember you guys the um, like Looney Tunes like. You know, after school specials about them like trying to like don't do drugs and stuff like that type of thing. How cool and awesome were those, huh? Well, I, like, thought they were, I thought they were fun and. What like, was the one with the A? Like whatever. This is your brain. This is your brain on drugs. No, not that. They did do I mean, one that was where the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles and shit. Yeah, yeah. With, like the different PSAs and shit. Yeah, oh, GI yeah. Joe. My favorite one was uh, <laughs> Dinosaurs. That uh, live action one. Oh, oh that dude, that, that shit rule. Cool. They yeah. found the leaves out in the forest and it made him not give a shit about anything. Hell yeah. And he brings him home and gives some to his dad and like oh, they oh, start yeah. fucking dancing in the living room. Yes. Then his dad quits his job because. He's like, I was just fucking eating a plant. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. I need a plant. And then uh, the mom comes in. She's like, What the fuck are you guys doing? Just laying around everywhere. And they're like, You want some plant? Man, I don't remember that episode at all. No, that was. And then at the episode. end of the episode, after they uh, change their ways, uh, yeah, everything uh, back breaks the, the fourth wall. And the dinosaur starts talking to you, like, as the yeah. actor. Uh, and yeah. they're like, just don't do drugs and we won't have to do these fucking episodes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's and awesome. it's like, that's insane. That's I remember crazy. the uh, steroids one. That they ate these things that look like critters. Yeah. And then he got spikes. Yeah. Whoa. That was that's awesome. such a good show because every episode heard, was kind of like an after I was telling him earlier, I heard that they were bringing it back. I heard they were Seriously? Brain yeah, I heard Hell they were yeah. back. Hell yeah. Seriously, I'll really watch it. <laughs> I won't be happy about but it, but I'll watch it. would it be as good, though? Do you think it would be as good? It's never as good when they bring it back 20 years later. Yeah, like so, when they brought back Thundercats. Yeah, not Thundercats, good. Thundercats, like, that so was That's a good thing fun. to talk about. Do you, how do you guys feel about all this? Because they keep bringing shit back. They like, do. Yeah. Like, it's, it's like, it started off with reboot movies and movie franchises, and they're doing it with TV shows now. Like, uh, Will and Grace, they brought it back. Roseanne is coming back in March. 
Um, they're talking about an Office reboot now. Yeah. Like, uh, which what? One? Yeah, yeah, an didn't Office. Hear that? You didn't hear that? Yeah. I didn't hear about the Office without the same people. Yeah, they'll have a couple, of, a couple of the characters. A couple. Of them. Hollywood's running out of ideas. Yeah, man. I think it's. I don't know. I don't like it. I mean, I love. Don't get me wrong. Like. I like seeing the characters that you know we we all came to grow and love, especially like yeah. fucking Roseanne, because that was like my fucking childhood right there. So I mean, it's cool to see those characters come back, but does it ruin the the original show? They're really milking nostalgia hard. Yeah, yeah. Oh, like, yeah. For fucking every, I don't like about it. the fucking the teat is dry, like and it's like, ah, oh, come on. Like Will and Grace are doing great, uh, and I'm sure Roseanne and the rest of them were doing good too. But, like, but I mean, I seriously, like do we that, need more like Will and Grace? Too. Like, is yeah, that what the world was clamoring for? It's like I'm not saying. Do we need more of any of it? It's like, can't you just let it rest? Like. Our generation's getting to the point where we have extra money, and so they're coming after us, trying to figure out how to, to get us to, to to watch something so they can sell us something. Mm-hmm. Well, I think part of the problem today is that when a new show debuts, they do not give it nearly enough time to get on its feet. No. Like, if it's not successful in its first six or seven episodes, it's fucking canned. So the only thing that sells this to today is shit that has some sort of like a recognizable name. Hence, why you see shit like fucking Fuller House coming out and uh, you're fucking really Rosanna and all this actually really shit. good. Hey, didn't they go to Japan? I haven't watched it, but man, yeah. this chick. I, I just remember I Stephanie had huge tits. She did. Yeah, dude. I mean, they, they grew up well. Yeah, <laughs> yep. really good. What were you gonna say, Bruns? I totally forgot. Uh, <laughs> but but yeah, I mean, it's it, it, they need to give new shows a legitimate chance. Not not just can them after like six seven episodes. <laughs> Guys, I raised my hand, but I don't remember what I was going to tell you. Thanks for that. Make a, <laughs> make a slurping sound. <laughs> well, if you remember, raise your hand again. That would be fine. <laughs> <laughs> how do you feel about so? I think we're all kind of in agreement on TV that it's getting lame and that they need to come up with more original ideas and let them play out but how do you feel about it with movies are you are you cool with movie reboots Some as long as they do it well <clears throat> yeah the so new, the new tomb raider looks pretty good the new tomb raider could be i good. thought the friday See, the 13th the, movie was pretty excellent trailer. yeah i thought that was perfect yeah have you seen the trailer for uh dundee with that's, Danny McBride. Oh, that's yeah, bullshit. That. That's just uh, that like funny. a commercial thing. It's, it's not, not a real movie? No. I've seen the dude, trailer for it. Dude, I, I, thought, I thought the same really? thing. But sure? dude, dude, they, they said they, it today. They have one with really? Chris Hemsworth in it. Yeah, yeah. And they, they've got one with the dude that played Wolverine. What's his fucking name? Hugh Jackman? Hugh Jackman. Yeah. Oh, really? It's it's just a <laughs> Are you Super sure? Bowl ploy. Yeah, uh, dude. Cause, it's I mean, not really happening. Oh, damn it. Yeah. Because I thought the same thing at first, too, that it was fucking fake. But then when I saw no, Chris Hemsworth... I thought it was real until they told me it was fake. I thought it was fake until I saw Chris Hemsworth, and I'm like, they, would, was fake they wouldn't bring fake. Hemsworth in for a fucking fake like trailer. Yeah, trailer. no, yeah, they got Hugh Jackman, too. Because Dundee, I, I, when I thought it was fake, yeah. I checked IMDb, and it's not on it's Danny McBride's IMDb, yeah, so no, I'm like, this it, has got to be fucking fake. It is fake. But damn, that, that's, yeah, that's, a, that's an elaborate it. fucking fake. Yeah, I know. What do you... You see how excited you guys got about that? That's why they keep doing remakes because everything is like franchise. I don't give a shit about like, uh, Crocodile Dundee. Celeb- it's, like it's, it's more McBride. Danny McBride. <laughs> I know, but Danny like McBride. Danny McBride is a franchise. Like Dundee. that too. I mean, that would I'll be, be like, like okay, I will watch like, we, anything was, that Danny McBride is in. I right. would, yes, but if Chris oh, Hemsworth was old. like. A crocodile Dundee son, I'll be like, whatever, fuck it, you know. I know, but still, we're like talking here, like we fucking are have any sort of semblance into it. It's like we might as well be. But McDonald's we're, is like going to be. I mean, you know, they, I thought they liked Dundee. But we're so. we are feeding into it. We're I mean, McDonald's, Burger King, it. like brands. If you know this, you know that. Crocodile like, what is that? Dundee. If we I wanted like to stop, like we just have we just stop cool going. Dude. If if we wanted to change, we just stop giving them our money. Well, I'm a Star Wars junkie, and they're the ones that fucking milk the shit out of the nostalgia fucking team. Absolutely. But the last few movies have been pretty awesome. But they're they're also playing off the old fandom as well, you know, uh, just bringing that back. It, it, I it's saw a fan of the movie. movie. Yeah, yeah. it's just twice. It's the same movie they made before. They just threw some more awesome graphics in it. Exactly. Because at least they didn't do one, two, and three. 
Yeah. Because of people downloading movies today, it's hard for people like movie theaters to be successful. Oh yeah. And so the only way they get people in there is with name recognition. Hence why you see shit being remade all the Do time. Do you think that could be a potential driving force with the nostalgia? Well, I guess. I well, mean, it's, 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 it's all name recognition. It just yeah. goes with you're not going to green light a huge project that's going to cost your studio like a billion dollars or half a million dollars or a quarter of a million dollars. Like you say that, like it's not much for a movie. A quarter of a million dollars? Jesus Christ. That's an enormous amount of money. Oh, yeah. And then it's like, but you have to have something that people are already clamoring for beforehand. Can I pitch a reboot here? Yeah, let's hear it. Short Circuit. <laughs> that, would be true. I, that would be cool. Johnny Five is a robot. He should still be fucking alive. Johnny Five's too. Yeah, John Lovitz is the voice. So. <laughs> right. What's John, was John Lovitz the voice? No, but it should be. John. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, fucking Gilbert Gottfried is the voice. Just something ridiculous. Oh, that would be funny. <laughs> <laughs> Watch that Short Circuit movie. <laughs> I'm Johnny Five. I'm <laughs> but yeah, I mean, he's a fucking robot, so he should still be alive. Like, they should make it like a serious movie where he has to watch all of his friends die because he's a robot <laughs> and he fucking lives forever. Bron- and, and Bron's just gonna do a Gilbert Godfrey fucking Johnny Five impersonation. You're not gonna break it down for that. <laughs> hey, what if he had to, like, uh, you know, go against some big villain and, like, you know, soldiers and it was uh, reconnected with, uh, what's that one movie again, Bruns? With, um. Chappie? Uh, no, 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 no. Well, that's a good, that's a good idea, too. Year of the Tranny? No, no, the, the, Year the, the robot. Tranny. 2018 the robot coming at you. The that helped the elderly pe- people. Remember that? Um. I, Robot? No. The Golden older, Girls. Back, the Golden Girls. Golden Girls. Golden Girls. Golden Girls. No. Robots? Like, those same people. Man. No. What? What? AI. Robots helping older people? It was, yeah, it was Thank robots. You for batteries not included? Yes, that. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Batteries not included. Yeah, they come and help... Um, uh, Johnny Five? Yeah, Johnny Five. Dude, and they did that in one of the Rockies. Nice crossover. That would be a crossover now. Yeah. That would be cool. Yeah. Do you like a fucking yeah. short circuit Terminator crossover? Yeah. Holy to shit. where like Johnny Five's killing humans because he realizes they're in the, the enemy? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, you could almost have like Johnny Five as the Gizmo and then the T two thousands or whatever. Or the Gremlins. Or the Gremlins. <laughs> like like Johnny Five tries to make like his own like, like if robot you feed, son. Uh, and it turns Johnny evil. Five after midnight. <laughs> uh, you could end up with a bunch of Arnold Schwarzeneggers like breaking all your shit. It's like an input, not after midnight, Johnny Five. <laughs> <laughs> you left one like Fucking book out. <laughs> Flip like through it. Kill you. <laughs> Sometimes when my mom. Did anybody write that down? <laughs> <laughs> Could we make a Johnny Five like prof or something like that for a skit? Cause that'd be a tough one to do. I think they still sell like the little like uh, not life size, but like the one like, two that foot they tall had Johnny Five. Second movie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That I wanted more than anything. Oh, as a kid. who didn't want that as a kid? <laughs> I, know, I can't believe they didn't make that. They did. They have them on eBay. Well, yeah, but I think that's like... I think it was like, like a... Uh, I think it was like, more like a remote control t- type of thing, but I think it was um something that was pitched to like... like It was like a high fucking price. Yeah, it, it, I was, would never it was like an independent guy that like made this. Bluetooth it wasn't like a, a mass-produced product. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, they should have. Dude, I would have been all over that. You know, see all the toys I have. Shit, I would have had... Johnny Five sitting down in my fucking Johnny basement. Johnny Five rules. Yes, Fuck Johnny yeah. Five did fucking Can we say that Short Circuit 2 was one of those rare movies that actually did better, like was a better movie than it's uh, the original? I, I feel like Short Circuit 2 is better than uh, Short Circuit. I haven't seen those movies in a long time, but what's the one where he combats the rest of them? Is that the That's one? That's the first one. That's yeah. one. The, the second one was where he was stopping like the Diamond Thief. And okay. And remember, right like he's yeah. like chasing him down, and like I need, um, a, hero. I need a hero. I need a hero. Fucking hero. Yeah. That pumps yeah. me up. To yeah. This. yeah. Oh my god. Every time, and he goes to the Radio Shack, <laughs> and he fixes himself up because he just got this like the shit kicked out of him, and he's like bleeding and shit. Oh yeah. That's and he's got the mohawk. He's got the and mohawk, shit. and he's like, <laughs> yeah. and he swears. He's like, oh, I am really pissed off. Yeah. And you're like, fuck yeah, John yeah. Five. Kill him. Kill them all. <laughs> it, it was like uh, when you're a kid and you heard Raphael and the Ninja Turtles say, "Damn," and you're like, fuck. Yeah, man, and then like, yeah, Johnny. Damn, Fox yeah, says, yes. yeah. Like, yeah. Who, who didn't love like 
I know Rafi was my fucking favorite turtle. Because he's just, I mean, you want to say Michelangelo because he's like the fucking fun party dude, yeah, but man. Rafi's a badass. Rafi is a and badass. And Rocky has a lot more, or Rocky. Rocky. <laughs> Raphael has What's a lot more uh, fucking mental illness going on. Right? Like, <laughs> he's like wandering the torturing off. One. All right, yeah, let's go around the table and uh, pick your favorite, favorite turtles? Ninja Turtle. Right on. Mine's Michelangelo. Leonardo. I don't know. It's a toss up between uh, Leo right. and. Uh, I'd say Leo. Right on. Uh, I told you, Rafi. Rafi? I, I think I gotta go with Leo. Michelangelo. That a boy. Raph, bro. Fucking See, A. Alright. I, I thought everybody's was Rafi. I'm, I'm fucking dead wrong on that oh, one. Man, Michelangelo. Why well, wouldn't you think everybody is the same? I don't know. I just, maybe it sounds what like a socialist. I'm like, fuck you. Yeah. We're alert, all red. Alert, <laughs> alert, alert, alert. Okay, but we can all agree on this. Nobody picked Donatello that was not even in consideration. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody, did. Nobody even considered it for a fucking second. Uh, yeah, let's he think about that. Why didn't two. anybody pick he Donatello? He wasn't even one of my nerd. Because <laughs> Donatello's the Ernie Hudson. Of the but so, do you guys think, I mean, we're all kind of fucking nerds. Is it because we Want it to be something other than the fucking nerd? He had a yeah. weak, he had a weak weapon too. The fucking staff. Yeah, I don't know, man. But like, yeah. maybe he was really smart though, too. Yeah, yeah I'm, I guess, but I don't know. When you're a kid, I don't think you care about the smart guy. Yeah, you, I mean, want, you like want the badass. badass. Yeah, I like Donatello, but I like the leader better. Leo was cool with his fucking katanas, yeah. and yeah. he had like great fucking headstrong willpower and shit. Oh yeah. Yeah, he was a good leader. Yeah, dude. He wasn't just a guy who's like, fuck all you, I'm going to go out and drink next to the fucking river. They had to go out there and do it. And then get beat up by the Foot Clan. Hey, what 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 were the Foot Clan doing? Like, what was their whole crime? Like, it was obviously organized crime, but they're peddling drugs. Was that the whole... But they, they just protect. liked making they little kids do karate. Who was yeah. working for Crane. I think they were just giving kids extracurricular activities. Like, they were still running an illegal like, like karate actually, ring with children. Yeah. Like, so it was actually a good thing. Everybody like under that mask was a registered sex offender. <laughs> it was like a community <laughs> program. Right here. There was an actual scene where, where the, they op- there was the back of this truck open and the oh, two yeah. guys walked away. And then they, they used their ninja skills to come in. And empty this whole truck out, and the guys came back, and the truck was empty. So they were right, stealing. Yeah, shit. they were stealing yeah. electronics. Oh, okay. They were right. using but, their uh, but in the cartoon, sleight of hands. They were all androids. Yeah, the cartoons they were androids. Never watched the cartoon. Oh, oh really? God, it's great. Yeah. because you can't actually kill a guy. They like blew him up in the cartoon. Well, I mean, they were like a syndicate or something that really? Splinter was about to uh, become the leader of, but uh, the Shredder like fucked him over. What was the most violent shit when we were kids? RoboCop, and they made action Popeye. figures for it. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah. yeah. All right. Let's let's rephrase that. Like, all right, action figure wise, because man, when we were kids, yeah. I don't know about you all, but action figures were like our staple. Cause we didn't have yeah. video games. It's like okay, Nintendo was coming out, but dude, I played a lot. Who who has? I mean. I'm sure we all eventually got a Nintendo, but it wasn't. But in the right PC the world today, you don't see a lot of kid stuff with like a lot of like yeah. graphic violence. And my my vote would be RoboCop because they made action dude, figures I'm for that like shit. Rambo, dude. Yeah, that was rated R. But did the they war movies that were going on? But did they make the action movie. figures for Rambo? The first Terminator. Yeah. I don't know. He fucking rips the dude's heart out. And they did make Terminator yeah, fucking. Terminator, ter- dude. Yeah. Yeah, yeah and his it was face fucking melted and shit. Yeah, Mortal. Mortal Kombat was fucking righteous. Mortal Kombat was why I wasn't allowed to play video games. Yeah. Yeah. Killed my video game. Like, oh yeah. My life for so you're talking about the video game or the movie? I had no Mortal the video game. Video game was fucking. And my mom saw ass. it. Yeah. It made yeah. me return it because it was too violent. What system did you have it for? <clears throat> uh, Sega Genesis. Nice. Yeah, that's <laughs> what I had it for. Well. Okay, so let's go around the room. Who was your Mortal Kombat character? I think everybody had a fave. Oh man. Um, mine was Sub Zero. <laughs> Sub Zero. Scorpion. Original, remember? Original. Yeah, Mortal original. Kombat 1, where there's only like seven, seven characters. Yeah, there's like yeah. six, seven characters. Wait, what? Reptile was in there. Uh, but you couldn't play as him, I don't But think. he was like a secret unlock, yeah, so we can count him. Thing? What the? Uh, Raiden. 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 Yeah, Raiden. I think Raiden. Who was your, did you ever get a chance to play it? Did you, did you have a favorite <sighs> I don't character? remember all the characters anymore. But uh, did you have Okay, one? so original I don't was. Who my favorite was. There was one I went back to. Kung Lao, Lao, Sonya Blade. Now, Johnny Kung, Kung Cage. Lao was in. Or, I'm sorry, Luke Kang. Luke Kang. Goro. 
Yeah. They couldn't win Goro. <laughs> yeah. It was Liu Kang, Who? Sonya Blade, Johnny Cage, Raiden, Kano, uh, Kano, Jade, Sub Zero Scorpion. Sub -Zero Scorpion. I don't I think, think Jade was around more. Yeah, it was she? like eight oh, or she might ten. Too. I think it was. I think you're. I think it's seven. I think you got them all. Yeah, it was there wasn't many. There wasn't many at all. It had like the bottom row, and then like it kind of like bricked out on. Yeah, top. yeah. It was, oh, okay. Did I say Raiden? Raiden. Yeah. Raiden was in there. He was an original. Yeah, I was eight. Yeah. I picked Raiden. But yeah. yeah, fucking A. Mortal Kombat. Sub, Sub Zero. But, well, do you guys remember Sub the Zero blood code awesome. for the uh, Sega? It was like <laughs> AB, 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 or was that the Contra code for Nintendo? But yeah, there was the blood code. There was a blood where code. Where you punch yeah. them in the yeah, but blood like, would squirt out. They didn't have the blood. Yeah, yeah. I don't remember that shit. That's awesome. And they had all like the f fatalities and remember, shit. Remember like Game Genie would give you all shit. the codes and shit? Yeah. yeah. Totally. That's awesome. It was. Like, it was, like, encouraging cheating in the game. I love it. <laughs> I'm going to fucking message is that sending. <laughs> I remember when I was a kid, I had a book, like a book that we got at Walmart, and it was full of cheats. Oh, yeah. So I could go to the video store and be like, oh, I've got some cheats for that game. Nintendo <laughs> Power? I'll play that. Yeah. Nintendo Power? You remember well, this was just a game, and it had this guy on it, and he was wearing, like, a, uh, a spandex onesie with, like, a bunch of... Uh, he was a cartoon guy with a bunch of uh, controller shit all over him. The like fucking Nintendo Power Glove? Wizard or some <laughs> shit. And uh, he was breaking out of this thing, and then he flipped through, and it had like codes for Sega Genesis, Super Nintendo, regular Nintendo. And it's like a, just a fucking Bible of codes. Can I point out the irony in that we were talking about nostalgia earlier, and now we're just diving. <laughs> So hey, this is what I used to do. do. Now let's roll. Yeah, let's, so, let's, let's so roll with it. The movie, th the movie guys are going to come back. They're going to listen to this podcast, and they're going to be like, "We need to reboot Mortal Kombat." There you go. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I swear to God, I thought I heard that was happening. I could. You be know wrong. what? I, heard, I, heard, I, I thought Scorpion was. Uh, I've seen a trailer of him being like detained. I swear it. I think that was Infinity War. You were no, really no, it that wasn't. was. I saw something very rare a few months ago. No, that I came did. out like 2009 or something. Are you something. sure? Are you talking about Mortal saw? Kombat versus DC? No, it was Mortal Kombat like Annihilation or something is what they called it. Oh, the, it was that the sequel. Ten minute like short that that one guy. There was directed. a sequel to Mortal Kombat that it sucked It looked pretty assholes. cool, like a yeah. new thing that was coming out. Was yeah, like, yeah, oh, like, they up. tried to make it real-worldy, like, uh, it had Reptile, and he was, like, this baby that was born with, like, I don't know, <laughs> Harlequin disease, where, like, his skin was inside out or something. He was born inside out. <laughs> that's real, that's real, real world worldy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And this, and this doctor inserted blades in his arm and gave himself fangs, and I was like, Baraka... Shit. Oh, and Mortal then they, yeah, yeah Baraka, and the, we it was a badass. It was like two minutes long. Episode. It was really it badass. Are you sure? And Baraka, then that guy was supposed that to make it his movie. Baraka. No, Baraka. Baraka. Yeah, the, the guy Outworld. with the fucking blades in his arm. Yeah, yeah he's, he's from, from Outworld. Yeah. That's not in the first one. That's in the second one. Yeah. There's a lot more in the second one. They, they upped it to like 20 fucking characters in the second one. No, not yet. All right. Um, they had like Katana and like fucking Miranda or whatever. So, <laughs> since we're all in nostalgia <laughs> mode, what, what, is your guy, what was your guys' favorite video game system and game for it? You want to lead us off, James? So many good games. I've well, over the let's think of why you were I'm not younger. Much of a game uh, you were like 14. Yeah. I'm not, I'm not Yoshi's much of a gamer Island either. on uh, the Super Nintendo. All right, MB. I'm not a big gamer, so I don't know. It'd be hard for me to All right. decide. You have to come. I'm back not a big gamer, play. but I was. I I'll was more when it. I was a kid. So it's a toss-up between Mario 3 regular Nintendo. Oh, that one is pretty awesome. Uh, GoldenEye uh, Nintendo 64. Have you tried Nick? playing that one again? Uh, I he just it named sucks. a couple of Is really it? nice yeah. ones. <laughs> but honestly, I, when I was a kid, I had a pinball machine in my bedroom. Ah, they nice. had taken the legs off of it. it was, uh, the name of the game was Bolly Who. It was, it was built before microprocessors. So when you hit, put, hit the button to reset it, it went chung, 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 as all the reels spun around uh, yeah. <laughs> to, uh, to reset everything to zero. Uh, I have to say that's probably the favorite, my favorite game. Nice. Pinball. Cody. Mine was totally Zelda 64. Nice. <laughs> Bronzy. Uh, actually, Link to the Past by Super Nintendo was really fucking good. 
But the one that, like, I'll still play to this day because it's amazing is uh, WWF No Mercy on Nintendo 64. Oh, yeah. I just played Such a replayable game. Holy Actually, shit. Uh, I take that back. My favorite game is uh, Legend of the Gaia on PlayStation 1. All right, my, mine would be Super Mario World for Super Nintendo. That's I, tight. Mm-hmm. I love that, that game. Fun. Loved it. And MB. Okay, I finally figured out mine is definitely the... Uh, it's called Ransom City Blues or something like that. Ransom City, I think. Maybe just Ransom Sounds City. Sounds like a PlayStation <laughs> game. I, I've talked about it before to a couple of you guys. Before. Oh, is that true? It's for Nintendo. Actually. Oh, really? Yeah. Nice. Yeah, it was for Nintendo. It was like very basic. It's like where the like, pizza go around, guy goes around and beats everyone. You go, yeah, you go around with your buddy and you go around and beat the shit out of like with like a, like a club. That kind of like, reminds me of like a, paper a boy, chain. Just like some yeah. like, fucking like just beat, just beat and kick Jaws. the shit out Jaws. You just drive it's your fun. around. So I thought of another great one. When I was a kid, my brother had this computer game. It was it wasn't even like on any of the gaming consoles. It was Hangman? a fucking com- a computer game like Commodore sixty four. That shitty like eight bit graphic or whatever for computer games. It was yeah. called Leisure Suit Larry. Oh dude, yes, I remember that shit. That's <laughs> tight. Oh my god. Like, yeah. so good you're like computer. fucking going around and like fucking condoms and shit. <laughs> yeah, dude. And like there's like graph like boobs and like mm. like eight bit boobs and shit. Yeah, me and my neighbor used to play that because we want to see titties. <laughs> dude, yes, I remember that shit. If they could sap our nostalgia out of us right now, they could. <laughs> Turn it to energy, it I'm, would power this whole day. Yeah. <laughs> and that's why they're rolling it with you. <laughs> Listen to us. Roller coaster tycoon! Ah! <laughs> so many hours spent. We're a perfect example of why they're fucking <laughs> flying to it. Sim City? I, where I'm going next is Mist. I, I played some Mist. I, did, I couldn't get into that one. Oh, Twisted it Metal? Hard. It was. It was, it was, hard. It was, it was really awesome. fucking hard. I fucking love Twisted Wait, no, Metal. Go back Twisted even more to PC games. Like the older Ooh, ones. That's that came, the, the ones that came in, though, with. Like, Working like, Trail? Like, like, no, no, no. <laughs> no, no, yeah, that, that too, yeah. But you know, there was this one racing game that, like, I don't know, that came with the computer that was so addicting that me and my brother played. It was like. Like you, you, you got faster, and you went through all these crazy futuristic-looking, you know, racing courses. Michael, was, you have typhoid really cool. fever. Was, I know this has been talked about at length, but can we talk about how fucking crazy it is what they did with the whole ET game? Do you remember well, for Atari? Oh, yeah, where they printed way too much. They, yeah, the game bombed, and they actually buried a bunch of copies in the fucking desert. I heard about that. Yeah. Like to the point where they would, they did not want that game to see the light of fucking day. Wait a minute, which game was this? Was e. it just e. bad or was oh, it? Yeah, it was, they, yeah, they it was it terrible. terrible. They, they, they dug it back up. Yeah, they, they found copies. Yeah. And I'm it's actually, I think one. it goes for a lot of money now. Like, yeah. it's so rare. Why was it so bad? I don't know. Like, I think... Um, They've made more than they had uh, sales of the uh, game system. So they completely over-mass produced it. Well, that and, like, I think that, like, you couldn't beat it. Like, there's a point where you would just, like, get stuck and, like... Are you talking about E.T.? yeah, yeah. Like, 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 what? What's the thought process? Why the fuck would you bury it? Why wouldn't you just fucking destroy it? Why not just let it sit on like, discount they bury racks? It? Yeah, yeah, they fucking Did they find it. I yeah, trying to get a couple bucks for it. Yeah, apparently that's like one of the rarest games that's worth a lot of money, right? Yeah, because yeah. they, they 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 pulled the whole thing watch, after it was they'll, like they'll redo it. All right, guys. Uh, l- let's talk about imagine. your favorite uh, movies you grew up with. Um, Mine personally, Star Wars. Uh, Eric? Yeah, Star Wars kind of changed my life, to be honest with you. <laughs> what, would you count that as one of your favorite nostalgic movies? Like, if you were to. <laughs> I mean, obviously, it's going to be a broad movie, but if you were like to single it down to one that you just fucking loved. and You know what's really weird is that uh, if I'm thinking about a movie that uh, goes back to my childhood. It would probably be uh, Adventures in Slumberland, Little Nemo. That movie is the <laughs> shit. I've never like, seen it. Does anybody it. remember that? Yeah. Like, Little Nemo goes like flying around, meets this clown, and then like unleashes hell on this fucking dream world. He just world. keeps going through dreams and shit. And, and goes then to he's like, pajama, world. pajama. <laughs> <laughs> I have no idea. No, I've no, never yeah. heard that. It, it anyway, like an anime. I like I wish, that I, I wish I did. I wish I did. <laughs> Cuddly? Um, I would have to go with Donnie Darko. Your child. <laughs> How old are you? <laughs> what are you Shit. fucking twenty? <laughs> <laughs> All right, right on, Nick. Uh, I, I got kind of a, a two-part answer. The first would be like 
Return of the Jedi was the first movie I saw in the theater. My mother still has the ticket stub in my baby nice. book. Toy. That's my favorite Star Wars movie. Yeah. Because, um, yeah. Toys. But the, the movie exactly. that I think was the most fun was the uh, my parents, my mom took away weird science because oh, she didn't approve dude. of it. So every time they awesome. left of us alone, we would go digging through their bedroom and find it and play it. Oh, yeah. That <laughs> chick on there was a babe. Mm. I have a couple. So you guys remember a movie nah. with um, Fred Savage and Howie Mandel called Little Monsters? Little yes. Monsters. Yes. yes sir. Oh, fucking oh, wow. Yeah. That Where they like go into like the, like the underground world under the bed Underneath and the shit. Bed, yeah. Hell and yeah. like the kids are living all free and like like messing around and mm-hmm. shit. I fucking love that movie. Yeah. I didn't know it was Fred Savage. <laughs> that was. Yeah. Yeah. Howie Mandel. Yeah. He played the monster. Yeah. Um, oh, God. Bill and Ted. I fucking loved Bill and Ted when I was growing up. When you up. were a kid? Yeah. Huh? Really? Yeah. I didn't appreciate that until I was older. No, no. We like my like my mom bought the VHS, watched the shit out. The of first it. one or the second one? First one. The second one's stupid. See, like that's the one I liked the most when I was younger. The second one? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, and then one more, uh, The Sandlot. The fucking, that's, Hell yeah. that's yeah. an amazing movie for a kid. MB, you got one? I had something that I just lost it when I was listening. <laughs> All right, we'll, 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 we'll come back to you. Damn it. Uh, James? I would say uh, My Neighbor Totoro. Uh, never... Batman. Oh, Tim Burton oh, Batman. Yeah, Batman. fuck yeah, Tim Burton yeah. Batman. Yeah. Yeah. That's a great... And Beetlejuice. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Tim, okay. Tim, Tim Burton. Right there, bro. Yeah. Tim yeah. Burton all the way. Those are two yeah. good ones. Oh, and also Nightmare Before Christmas. That, that movie was the shit. We, do you, do we you remember all the wrong. promotion they had for Batman? Like the... Oh, Michael dude. Batman. It was yeah. crazy. Oh, I was so pumped when I was a fucking kid. I couldn't wait. Yeah. All right, MB, what do you got okay. for us? Okay, before I forget again... <laughs> Indy and then in the cupboard. Indy then in the cupboard. Huh? Oh, that, that was, was cool. Yeah. You guys remember that fucking movie? I don't remember that one. I don't remember the movie. I that is going book. back nostalgically to my childhood. Like, you know, yeah, I read the book too. Yeah. yeah. Is that the one with the dog that flies and a tray you? No, are you thinking of that was never the never ending story? story. No. Bam! Oh, nostalgia bomb. Also, <laughs> also, another one, another one just like similar to that, A Land Before Time. Oh, dude. Yeah. Remember yeah, yeah. those puppets that uh, you could go to Pizza Hut and they give you the little fucking puppets? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, dude. I love that movie, man. I How can... many of those did they make, though? I think they Too made many. like five. Nine or ten. Oh, yeah, the Land of Four Time. Yeah. Yeah, there's a bunch of them now. Dude, if or anybody listening is? has these hand puppets and wants to sell them, I'll buy them. Yes. Was yeah. it like oh, hand puppets or was it like yes. a finger puppet kind of no, thing? No, dude, you could like you could put your, well, a child's fist. No. Okay. Right. A, child, uh, a child's fist. Yeah. Not your fist. But yeah, dude, they had like, uh, what was there? There was the Brontosaurus, the Stegosaurus, Rex, or I can't remember their fucking name. Ducky. Yeah. Ducky, Ducky, yes. Ducky, yes. Yeah. Long yeah. neck. Yeah. Three horn. All right. Okay, so, wait. How about even this one, too? Uh, Ferngoli? Yeah. I remember yeah, Ferngoli. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Huh? Oh, yeah. You mean Avatar? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they stole it. You mean? James Cameron was like, this is a pretty fucking good movie. <laughs> Rocky, yeah, Rocky. I was looking forward to watching Rocky as a kid. I mean, yeah. Oh, yeah. I-, I loved uh, Predator and fucking... Yeah, Predator, too, a- as a kid. Yeah. The second Aliens movie. All right, um, so I'll, I'll, we're going to wrap up this nostalgia bomb. Uh, one last thing we're going to go around. Uh, your guys' favorite action figure line when you were growing up. Mm. <laughs> we're going to stop doing this whole nostalgia bit with what is your favorite thing from the past? <laughs> 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 We gotta wrap oh, up this hey. episode here. Yeah, Honestly, well, that's hey, what we're James, doing. We're wrapping it up with your favorite action let's figure. Let's do it. James just said something. Transformers. Transformers. MB. I'm gonna say Power Rangers. That makes Mighty sense. Morphin Power Rangers. That explains Mighty why you might be getting <laughs> Chester. <laughs> the great right. one. So, uh, or or the gold one. Of course, I remember. Cool. my mood. We don't need a goddamn story. What's your favorite fucking action <laughs> figure? <laughs> okay, of course, fucking uh, Ninja Turtles. Oh, but yeah. do you guys, were you, uh, I'm going to get local here. Were you guys part of the Fox 19 Kids Club? No. No. I got the card. I never got any. I was part of the Fox 19's Kids Club, and if you took your little card to Van Lunen's, they would give you like a free Lunen's. little, a little like free Sesame little Twister. fucking like micro uh, monster toy. I used to fucking love those. Hell yeah, Garbage Pail Kids. Dude, I love Fuck Garbage yeah. Pail Kids. Hell yeah. Okay. Cody? Mine was the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, the sewer system shit that they had. Yes, I had that as well. That was great. Mine was uh, definitely Power Rangers. Power Rangers? How old are you motherfuckers? 
Uh, when when that came out, I was like something? twelve, so it was it was kind of yeah. right age. But it I was, was like, like in fourth or fifth grade. It was like I just right around. The toys were fucking awesome because yeah. you build them into bigger toys. That's true. Like Both I grew out of it after like the fourth yeah. or second yeah. season. All right, yeah, my, mine was Ninja Turtles as well, man. Did Fuck. you guys ever jerk off into your sister's Polly Pocket? No. 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 Or you? <laughs> now that I think, I how old were you when you were jerking off? I should have said turtles because I don't remember playing with the Power Rangers. But I like the time. My favorite toy when I was a kid was a stick. <laughs> <laughs> and a brick. And I was happy to have it. And I was happy to get it stuck in my guts. I smashed that brick. All right, everybody. We're going to wrap this one up. Uh, thank you for joining us for another episode of Guy Party. We will be joining you uh, shortly uh, within the next, you know, day or... Yeah, two days. 2018 year of the training. 2018 is the year of the training. <laughs> hey, on that, on that note, uh, guy party. Guy party. Guy party. Guy party. Guy party. Yeah. Peace. Fuck. <laughs>